still raining. Damn. I mean, yeah, I really, I need to get a roof built, don't I? Which, uh, brings me to the plans for this episode. Actually, something else I want to talk about first real quick. Uh, that I feel like I didn't really talk about enough in the first episode was why I'm doing this series. Because it might seem like it doesn't really fit with the other stuff I've been uploading. You know, my whole thing is discussing ongoing stuff with the Minecraft community, flaws, good things what could be done better, and how it should be. And this is part of that, actually. This isn't just a random me trying to get views. Uh, so that I also do really like this series. But basically, instead of just critiquing, you know, Minecraft horror series because there's so many that are just, like, copy and paste now, I'm probably still going to make a video doing that. But I also wanted to make a series showing what a better one could be like. And that's what this series is. An example of how people could do things differently or maybe better. You know, I'm very, trying very hard to make this its own unique thing. Not just some blatant, you know, from the fog copy another one right we don't need another one of those so i want this to be its own cool thing and that is basically the goal here to show what a good horror series could be like and of course this is just one example people could go any kind of different direction with their own you know make them unique in any different way not necessarily analog horror like this one is because the problem is that people are all doing the same type of series and that's what i'm trying to avoid here so anyway now that we're done with that uh little side tangent uh plans for this episode first thing i want to do is at least get a roof of some kind up here but of course i will be needing deep sweat for that. I was also thinking of having a bit of glass in the roof. So, in order to do that, we're gonna be going mining. Uh, strip mining at first, probably. Maybe some caving if we bump into a cave down in the mines. But for the most part, sticking to strip mining because caving, uh, with my current gear wouldn't be very safe. So yeah, that's that's the plan. We might do some other stuff, right? I can't uh, see the future and tell you exactly what's going to happen. Uh, at least not in this recording. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to dump some of this stuff into a chest here that I don't want getting lost if I die. You know, the things I want to keep. Oh, I should have flint and steel in my hotbar to light them, actually. So, yeah, um, we're gonna have to keep mining downward to reach a deep slate, of course. I'm really hoping to find some iron while mining. That's, that's the thing that I really need right now is iron. Barking. But why is there barking? I'm what? Oh no, I hear footsteps. Loud, loud footsteps. And bark. I think it goes without saying that there's no dogs underground. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, that didn't sound like a dog bark either, anyway. That sounded like something else entirely. There are no other barking mobs in the game, though, so... We have some another abnormality, that's nice.
code here. See, now I'm hesitant to go into the cave. I I wanted to earlier, but after hearing that, you know what I mean. I'm gonna uh, just use fires here because I'm well on for just a little bit with just a dead end anyway. Oh no. You've got to be kidding me. I do not need a cave and not now. Okay, yeah, now there's nothing else in there, so we're just gonna close it off and continue. What was that? Oh, maybe the fire's extinguishing. I guess anyway. Yeah. Thought I saw this. Oh, hell no. I hear it again. Why am I doing this? It's a good question, really. Well, the lava at least provides a bit of light, and then mobs can't spawn. I was saying! <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's why I'm staying clear of caves, because as you can see, with my, uh, current armor, it took, like, two shots from that skeleton to get down the So. Skeleton jump scare, jeez. Come on. Not today, thank you. Couldn't have said it any better myself. Okay, but if I hear that barking or footsteps again, I'm booking it. I haven't found a single piece of iron here. I mean, it extends further down there, but, you know, I don't want to go deeper. Jeez, bro, you gotta stop doing that to me. Oh man, twice. Nope. 
Nope, we're just not deal. We're not dealing with that. That is like the freakiest sound I think I've ever heard in this game. Oh my god. I just see something moving over there. Oh, we're just gonna block that off. Yeah, no, we're just gonna. Mm hmm. Not oh, dealing with it. I might close this tunnel up because every time I look at it, I'm worried I'm going to see something in it. <laughs> yeah, there's that other script log I saw earlier. Anyway, so what are we just, um, all of this deep swipe is going in the chest. And some of this useless stuff I'm just gonna throw out because I don't want to be clogging things up already. It's too early for that. And with that, I'll put this iron axe in here too. I don't want to lose that. Going into this with, you know. The idea that I'm probably going to die. <laughs> Alright, it's a caving. Like the first actual proper caving trip. Um, oh, I'm going to grab a bit of tough too, because I have a build idea for that later. I'm certain, but... No. Man, stop that. Stop. That's not cool. I, I don't appreciate that. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's this one. No. Apparently, you can't light it. Switch out of the cobblestone so I can remember the entrances here better. We got, what, 29 iron from that? That's pretty successful right there. Is that? That might be enough for a full set of armor, actually. I'll probably stick with the protection one pants to save on resources for now, though. It'd be a lot more difficult up here until I go to bed. Where? Oh no. What the? It's gone. It's gone. What? What? What?
Excuse me. You can't so Don't you do that to me. Oh my gosh, now my spawn's gone. Hero Brian, I see you over there. Okay, Hero Brian's one thing, but. I think Hero Brian's gone. What the? Oh no!